One of the things that I've always been trying to figure out in Unity is how to open a specified folder on my computer. Now this is something that other game developers who use Unity have always been trying to open as well and it, it hasn't been documented that much for persons to be able to do this. Now you'd want to be able to do this if you know you probably allow your players to like take pictures and you want them to can find the folder that these pictures are in or if you have any other things that you know you probably built into the game that you want the player to be able to access. Now I've been scrolling through this Unity answer and there is not much that I could find from it. But going through the comment section I found someone who said that they found an easy simple way to do it and it is ridiculously easy. So finally here I ended up going to Unity documentations to see what I could salvage from this. Hi, my name is Clayton Williams and I am a Unity certified user programmer that has been working on a software to help my animation industry here in Jamaica. And I've been using Unity to create the prototype for, not just the prototype, but to build the entire software in. And I wanted to open the file explorer to a specified folder path and it wasn't working out for me. Now once I read the documentations on it, I learned a lot of things about how I can utilize it and the ways that I go about using it. Here's the code that I created because I wanted it to be open to wherever I would release the exact game to. Now to make sure I preserve the directory address, I put an at before the file string name so that way I can keep all the backslashes here. Otherwise, if this at wasn't here, I would have to change each of these backslashes to forward slashes like these two here in order for it to register as the correct address. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself that this only works within the browser, I mean within the editor of Unity. And no, it isn't just that. Because what I did was to attach the script to one of the buttons here in a function and then I was able to now press this button and it will open the actual file version. Now plenty of times I've seen that and it works in the editor but when I export it out in the final game it doesn't actually work. So I built out the actual game itself and I'm just going to open it up to show you that yes it does work in the build as well. I'm putting it on window because I haven't built an exit, exit thingy thing. <laughs> so here it is, it works. Uh, I'm going to move around in the scene and all of that. And now I press this button that I assign the script to. And yes, it brings me to the exact folder that I want. Now let's say that I want to open you know, this pictures folder. All I have to do is just copy the root address. Let me say like this camera roll. Yeah. Open that camera roll folder there. I'm just gonna copy all of this address. And once I'm here, I just copy all of this. Make sure that I leave these two slash here and I press space. Now this will be the destination folder that will open up. And now closing out this game, it will be in that build. I can test it out here inside the editor. Knowing that once I export the game itself, it will open. This is just to prove it that um, as to how it will work. So I press it there, and the folder opens up. And here it is, the camera roll folder that I want to open. Good. And just to clarify on how you can go about using this, I created a public void called Show in Explorer. I then went to this button on my canvas uh, to content yeah great uh, off right so this is the off button what i did was i attached the script to that off button created an onclick event here drag that off button paste it here and then i went to the name of my script which name of my script is showing the explorer so I did that and I clicked on show in explorer which is the function that I created which is this function. Once that was set, whenever time I press this button, this code would be executed 
and then everything would follow through. So I hope that this was very helpful to you and enjoy the rest of your day.